The main Christmas celebrations in Poland actually take place on Christmas Eve, or Vigilia. Now, I'm here in West End, near Southampton, where the Litwin family have invited us for dinner. The festivities can't get underway until you see the first star in the night sky. Vigilia starts with a meal, a big meal, 12 dishes in all, one for each apostle. But before you sit down, a special wafer is shared. Beetroot soup is one of the most important dishes, and you won't find any meat on the menu out of respect for the animals in the nativity. Carp is the main dish. In Poland, it's usually bought alive and kept in the bath for a few days, and it's good luck for the lady of the house to kill it. Slightly trickier if you only have a shower, though. I understand it's traditional to um, get the carp alive and kill it yourself. Have, have you done that? Uh, no. Not, not uh, this time. I, um, we can buy at the shop uh, the carp and it's much easier than just catch it and kill the carp yourself. It's a bit cleaner as well, isn't it? Oh yes, definitely. <laughs> at every Vigilia meal there's an empty chair, just in case a stranger calls. Now, one thing that's puzzled me, I've just noticed here, we've got a load of hay under the tablecloth. What's that all about, then? Oh, the hay's there to represent the hay which was in Jesus' manger in the Bible story of the Nativity. Well, 11 courses down, here's the 12th course, and it's cake. Fantastic. I think I might need a crane to lift me out of this seat by the end of this meal, though. <laughs> mm. Polish children get two lots of presents in December, on the 6th, St Nicholas's Day, and then after the main meal on Vigilia. Yep, Xbox One. 